Hey everyone, welcome back to another vinyl unboxing episode. Today I'm going to be doing Queens of the Stone Age's new album, In Times New Roman. Now, I pre ordered this when it was announced, uh, got it off the Queens of the Stone Age website, and they had it available in an opaque red, an opaque green, opaque silver, and a translucent blue. Uh, I went with the opaque silver version myself uh, just because I thought it looked cool, and uh, why not? I don't know if I have any silver records, so I figured I'd add that to the collection. Now, currently, all those colored variants are sold out on their website, but you can still order the Classic Black. Uh, I don't know if any of the colored variants are in shops. I'm sure you could find them in a few places, uh, but I imagine they would have Classic Black as well. Now, I'm very excited to listen to this one on vinyl. I have a lot of their other records on vinyl, and they sound amazing. I imagine this one will be no different. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like on the inside. All right. making it really hard there. All right. So um, a few of my friends were not in love with the cover when they first saw it. I don't really mind it. I think it's pretty cool. Now, I believe Boneface is the artist who uh, designed the cover, who also did uh, Like Clockwork and Villains, I believe, as well. So I'm sure if I'm wrong, someone will correct me. All right. So yeah, we got the cover here. Little, uh, I don't know if I call it a hype sticker, but just letting you know it is a limited edition silver vinyl. So that's pretty cool. Flip over to the other side, we got the track listing. Um, but let's get this, uh, let's get this cellophane off quick. How about that? Ooh, I really like, okay, so the cover. Um, has a really nice matte finish to it. I really like that. That's pretty cool. I believe Light Clockwork had a matte finish as well. I just think that adds a nice little dimension to it instead of like, you know, straight up glossy and everything. I don't know, something cool about the matte finish. Um, but yeah, I haven't examined the cover in depth, but you know, Queens of the Stone Age, In Times New Roman, kind of on his leather jacket. Um, you know, we got this wolf kind of coming out of the back of his head. Very, uh, very, very trippy cover. Um, it, it could be psychoanalyzed. I'm not going to do that here because we don't have that kind of time. Uh, then we got on the spine here, Queens of the Stone Age in Times New Roman, dot, dot, dot. And then on the back, we have um, we have a candle and we have a snake, to a two stakes going up around it. Now that's cool. In Times New Roman. And then on this label, we have villains and then like clockwork. So. And then we have, yeah, we got the, the titles of the tracks. Uh, I believe this is a, a double LP, right, gatefold? Um, because most of them are now. Now, I don't know if it's at 33 or 45. If it's at 45, I know Grimm's gonna be pissed, but you know, sometimes you just gotta live with that. Let's uh, check out the gatefold itself. Ooh, all right. Again, this could be heavily psychoanalyzed here. We have someone, um, in the corner, tied up with a ball gag. That's if you're into that sort of thing. Um, we have sort of an eyes wide shut mask, a dude with a hoodie and looks like some sort of a garden tool. Um, uh, we have different things hanging from ropes. We got a head, we have an, an owl with uh, uh, boobs for the face. That is interesting. Or maybe it's a crow. I don't know, some kind of a bird. Uh, we got this dude who says the end, fuck off. And it looks like you know, he's like a hangman. He's got one of those black masks. And then there's a body and a, some sort of a beast, a bull, a wildebeest, uh, being hung upside down in a straight jacket. And there's blood going everywhere. So it's um, definitely something, you know, you probably wanna, you know, hang over your couch. Uh, I think, you know, a lot of people who come into their, to your, to your apartment or your house would, it's, it's a conversation piece. Uh, that's, that's sort of what I'd say. Um, what else do we have here? Phantom pain and a skull and crossbone on this guy's sleeve. Uh, we have a couple of ears hanging, like like ornaments. It looks like a little, maybe a potion bottle? I don't know. This definitely um, is gonna require a deeper look and uh, deeper analysis. I'm, again, not gonna do all that here. Um, but it's, uh, yeah, very, very interesting. I don't see really any credits. I'm wondering if there's gonna be like some sort of a uh, pr yeah, a printout here. So looks like we are gonna have a printout. Yeah, given credits and lyrics. So we have disc one, we have the lyrics to Obscenery. 
uh, paper machete, negative space, time and place. All right, so these are just the lyrics. Doesn't look like we're giving credits or anything here. This is tracks one through seven, okay? And let's check out the first disc. So in the middle we have, uh, let's see. Oh, I wonder if, yeah. Okay, so I imagine this is gonna be side one. We have, ooh, look at the disc. I was curious what opaque silver meant. Um, it does have like, I don't know if this will show up on the camera really, but it does have sort of like a, kind of like a, a milky kind of look to it, uh, pretty cool. But I imagine this is the first side where it says in, and we have a candle that's lit and burning. And then flip it over to the other side, times. And here the candle is extinguished. Uh, you can see the candle's dark with, with red as opposed to the candle lit, and we got a black label. But uh, no track listings on, on either side. Um, I can tell sort of just from the grooves, we have one, two, three, four tracks on the first side, and then one, two, three, three tracks on the second side. So um, pretty, pretty cool. I wonder now if we're gonna get um, probably another little sleeve or, or booklet for disc two. Yep, with lyrics. So we got Sicily, Motion Sickness, Straight Jacket Fitting, all great titles and play on words, by the way, don't you think? <clears throat> now I'm not gonna go through all the credits and stuff here, but it does give, you know, who was mixed by, engineered by, uh, strings, additional vocals, uh, artwork, artwork by Boneface. So good job, Bone, Boneface, looking, looking good. And then all songs written by uh, Queens of the Stone Age, List the Band, Management, Copyright, okay. So I think if I'm not mistaken, I wonder if we're gonna get an etching on, on one side instead of all the tracks. So, so here we go, in times, and then we have new, and it looks like we got uh, part of a snake and a black cover there. And then on the back, no, it looks like this is a track, I, I think. Interesting. I don't know if there's a hidden track here or something. There, there's something in the grooves for sure. Okay, guys, so this is actually me coming from the future, if that makes sense. I just got done doing the recording for the unboxing, and just like I was uh, getting into where I thought I saw some grooves here and I was wondering if there might be a hidden track, guess what? There is a hidden track. Essentially what it is, it's a short little snippet from Feel Good Hit of the Summer. And then it goes to crickets for about 30 seconds. So it is pretty interesting because you can see on the, on the vinyl, we don't have any grooves or anything until we get about three quarters of the way through. And then all of a sudden we got grooves. All right, back to where we were before. Enjoy. So maybe worth flipping over and giving a listen, but then yes, we do have the Roman um, with uh, a snake. And it looks like, I don't know if that's a snake eating another snake. Yeah, very cool. I'm excited to give this one a listen. Um, you know, like I said, I've been checking it out on streaming and everything. Uh, looks absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy I went with the opaque silver. I mean, I don't think you really could have gone wrong. And if you just have to go with the classic black, I'm sure you won't be too disappointed as well. Again, I think Queens of the Stone Age albums sound amazing on vinyl. I, I know I'm not trying to sound like, you know, a pretentious asshole or anything, but they just sound really good. I'm not sure if it has to do with the, the producing, the mastering, the engineering, or just the sound itself, how it's pressed. Uh, but I've been very happy with Light Clockwork, Villains, uh, Songs for the Deaf, and Era Vulgaris. I still have to get Rated R and a few more. This is their eighth, so got a ways to go. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vinyl unboxing episode. Now, this isn't my first one. It won't be my last one. I've done uh, some Modest Mouse. I've done some Radiohead. I'm trying to think who else have done a bunch of King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. So if you guys are into vinyl unboxings and checking some of those out, uh, you know, check out some of our old episodes and give us a like and subscribe. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you on the next unboxing. Peace.